here next. The very unions who helped push the health care law into passage are now fighting it. Another big one this week joining the list. Forget the hypocrisy. Is this the proof it's finally time to let the law flatline for good? Unions that once backed the health care law now backing away from it. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers just joining the backlash, launching an ad against it. Forget the hypocrisy. Gary B., you say unions actually have it right this time? Well, you know, Brenda, you know I'm biased and always a big <laughs> fan of unions. So, I mean, it kind of goes without saying I'd be speaking up for them. But, you know, in this case, I've always been kind of opposed to unions because they're kind of self-centered and always focus on themselves. But that is the American way. And in this case, they do have it right for one reason. They, they just want to keep the plans they have, however ludicrous and idiotic and gold-plated as they are. And that's their choice. But with Obamacare, you can't do that. You don't have a choice. He clearly said you're going to be able to keep your health plans. The unions say, wait a second, we can't keep our health, health plans. In this case, they have it right. Jonas, do you think so? Look, these unions have too much health care. That was part of the problem with why all these states are broke, trying to pay these health care bills for union members, why companies were being run into a lot of trouble because they're paying these unions. So these plans are Cadillac plans. They had to get caught. I was looking at the white paper by the union about this, what their griefs are, and they don't like that they're going to, that lower end employees are going to have to basically uh, go into crummier health care. They don't want to race to the bottom. We need a race to the bottom from the high end of health care. So this is one of the good effects. I'm anti union on this, okay. and I guess pro Obama. All right, Steve, unions used to support Obamacare. Now many of them do not. What does that tell you about the health care law? It, tells, it doesn't tell me anything about the health care law because there's one good thing about the health care law, and that is that it provides everybody with access to affordable health insurance. But now there's and we're now never, supporters We're never of it. going back to something else. But let me say this. It does say that our health care system is totally wacky, and the health care law baked that in. The new law, it keeps most of that. We spend twice as much as our GDP <laughs> as other developed countries on health care. We need a single-payer system. Okay, That's Tracy. what the oh unions God. used to but, be for. That's what they should be for now. Okay. But, Steve, even the unions, I mean, geez, soon enough, the Girl Scouts are going to come out and say this thing is a joke and a half. Like, they can't implement <laughs> hey, it. They I just don't said know get rid of it is. and get it. But I the, said but, get rid of it and have a single-payer system. Okay, but That's what, what is, it shows us. You can't Obama fix this care, system. Obamacare is wrong on so many levels, and even the unions now get that. The state exchanges are not going to work. They pushed off the employer mandate. Is there still an individual mandate? Nobody knows. Even Pelosi herself said we got to go read the darn thing. Nobody knows what it's about, and it is confusing everyone, even his most loyal followers. Uh, John, I know you're not one of uh, <laughs> most loyal followers, but what do you think about this? Free pizza, right? <laughs> Look, uh, this, was, this was sold as this is going to be free insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, everybody's going to be happy. We're all going to sit around and sing Kumbaya. It's not going to add to the deficit. You're going to be able to keep your existing insurance. Surprise, surprise, all three of those are wrong. This was passed in a completely partisan manner just to get it done, and you're starting to see the ramifications of that now. It's created such ill will. No health care reform is going to be done. 34 of 50 states have opted out of the state exchanges. 24 of 50 states have opted out of the Medicaid because they simply cannot afford it. This thing is an absolute disaster. Gary B., time to flatline it for good? Well, exactly. You know, Jonas and Steve make kind of the same point, this whole, well, we need this, it should be this. Who, who are they to decide? Not those two, but who is government <laughs> to decide what we need? Yeah, because we I'd be a good one to decide. This. Like the almighty hand that decided you should eat more vegetables, <laughs> you should exercise more. Was there a hue and cry for this, this Obamacare? No, in fact, it's widely hated. That's why not only should the employer mandate go, the rest of it should go, and we should try to edge back toward a free market system. Why is there a Walmart of health care out there? Okay. There should be. Yeah. Okay, Jonas. They have these giant plans because the government carved out all these breaks. And first of all, the government is behind a lot of these health care plans with government union workers. But also, there's a tax break where they can pay out a $30,000 health care plan and write it off like it's a, like a tax-free perk. And, and I don't think there, there should be that. So that's not a free market. And if we went to a free market exactly. with no tax break, there'd be no Cadillac health care plan. So they'd be complaining about that, the unions, too. Because one way or the other, that $30,000 health care plan is going to go away in the future. And this is one way we're doing it. It's a very messy, complicated but way going to go away when at the end of the day you still have all these entitlement programs in place. No one's talking about them. And look, 
everyone, you know what, deserves to be taken care of in this country, but this is not the way to do it. It is going to put us into bankruptcy. We spent so much money implementing the darn thing, now we're going to spend so much money trying to abolish it, when really, if someone had just put some thought into this, maybe we would have had a better outcome. Okay, last word to the lady in the gang.